This Joshua Skinner really was a prospector. He discovered a ton of gold in 1849. Then his partner disappeared. Skinner died 30 years later. They never found the gold. How much is it worth? Today's market? Six million, maybe more. And nobody knows where it is. <laughs> it's a mystery. There never was a clue until now. He killed his own partner over some gold. Can you believe it? As a matter of fact, I can. What's going on? It's my mom. Oh, my God. Did something happen? <sighs> she got married. Oh. oh well, congratulations. She calls me last week, and she says she has a date with an antique dealer, a guy named Dalton Padron. So they go out twice. He proposed to her on their second date. Wow. Four days later, this yesterday, they get married at City Hall. Oh, then last night, when they get back to the hotel, he tells her that it's not working. They need counseling. They're going to a therapy clinic, Monk, for their honeymoon. Randy, that's not a crime. No, 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 something is up. He's 37 years old. She's 58. It doesn't make sense. Yes, can you tell me about this armoire? Yeah. It's a uh, solid teak. It's turn of the century. Well, actually, it's 19th century. Sorry. It, uh, it's an Indonesian piece. It's solid teak, as you can see. Yeah, because I'm looking for something like this in my bedroom, but it looks uh -huh. kind of big. How tall is it? Excuse me, can I help you? I, I was in here last year. I spoke to your partner. Is he around? No. Uh, Raymond had some uh, personal problems. He's disappeared and left me to run this place all by myself, which is really why I don't have time to stand and chat. So unless I can help you with something else. The lieutenant was right. This guy is up to something. How do you know? There was an application for a visa on his desk. He's moving to Ecuador in two weeks. And under marital status, he wrote in single. Who moves to Ecuador? People who don't want to come back. It's almost impossible to get extradited. What do you think he's up to? I don't know. Well, we have to do something, right? He's falling apart. Adrian and Sharona Monk. This is Jeffrey and Rachel Sweeney. And Dalton and Maria Padron. We're going to be shipmates together on this wonderful voyage. Gosh, I hope no one gets seasick. Let's try a little role reversal. Jeffrey, why don't you pretend to be Rachel? Rachel, you be Jeffrey and... Uh, excuse me. What's your problem? Me? What was that look? What look? Did you just wink at me? What? <laughs> oh, oh, keep your eyes to yourself. Keep them to yourself. Settle down. Sit down. Sit down. Settle down and sit down. Where is the gold? The answer is in the journals. That's why Dalton was reading all those journals. And why he married Randy's mother. He needed a wife to get into this house. Why didn't you just ask a friend? I don't know. He obviously didn't want to share the money. I'm going in. You can't. You can't. Adrian and I have to go in. Randy's depending on us. I promise I'll be careful. I'm just going to take a few pictures. Don't worry. I, I don't know how. Do not worry. Stay there. Can I open my eyes? No, 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 not yet. We're almost there. Mr. And Mrs. Monk, how you folks doing? I found some more of those towelette things. Thank you. I've been poking around down there at the site of the accident. That was no accident. Now, did you actually see this Dalton Padron knock that support beam out? No. That beam was about 150 years old. It was bound to give way sometime. If I make it to 150, I expect I'll feel the same. Listen. I got your message about my stepfather. God, I hate calling him that. Has anything else turned up? Nothing we can prove. OK, maybe I've got something on this end. You remember Dalton's partner, Raymond Tolliver? 
Well, guess what? Raymond's disappeared. His brother just filed a missing persons report. I'm gonna go check this out. Keep me posted, okay? Okay, we'll call you later. Now that you mentioned it, I haven't seen Mr. Tolliver around. Not for a week or two. Although I'm just a landlord, I'm not their mother. Yes, sir. Aren't you supposed to have a warrant? Aren't you supposed to have a sprinkler system that works? Thank you. Can you step back, please? I'll just be a minute. I wonder if anyone's ever really been knocked over by a feather. It would have to be a pretty big bird. You know what's in this one? He copied the first three books of the Bible. Word for word. This guy's certifiable. Sure he's not related to you? That's funny. That's funny. Keep reading. You remember what the letter said. The answer is in the journals. It must be some kind of code. There is a chicken in Mexico who can play tic-tac-toe? Keep reading. Come on, keep reading. Hello? Mom, are you OK? Am I OK? Mom, listen to me. I want you to get out of there right now. Dalton murdered his partner. Mom. Is he there? What is it? The answer. What? That's what Skinner said in his letter. Where is the gold? The answer is in the journals. This book must be over 600 pages, but the journal weighs more. The book covers are made of gold. No. No, it's leather. It's ordinary leather. Where is the gold? The answer isn't in the journals. The answer is in the journals. You're wasting your time, Mr. Padrone. The gold's not there. I know where it is. Dalton Padrone, I'm Ronald Mathis of the Hillside County Sheriff's Office. I want you to put that hammer down. Sir, you drop your hammer, or I'll drop mine. Joshua Skinner's fortune was right here, under our noses the whole time. The answer is in the journals. Which one? All of them. Gold paper? Gold. Ink. Ink? Joshua Skinner didn't trust banks, so he decided to hide his illegitimate fortune. He melted down the gold, mixed in a little black ink. Any amateur chemist could have done it. And then he began to write, and write, and write, and write, and write. It was mostly nonsense, gibberish, really, anything that popped into his head. He ran out of things to talk about after five pages, but he just kept on writing. The gold was hidden in plain sight, and it stayed hidden for 125 years. until tonight. Wow, you figure 30 ounces of gold per journal, that's roughly $6,000 a book, 947 volumes, that's $6 million, more or less. <laughs> Don't forget the real price. Two people died for that gold. Two people? Dalton had a business partner, a partner who trusted him. A lot of people trusted him. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere No one seems to care Well, I do Hey, who's in charge here? It's